So Windows 11 just officially came out and we have to go ahead and talk about some of the best tips and tricks for this specific new software. Now, first of all, a lot of things that I've been seeing from a lot of people is basically that start menu at the bottom. It looks like some people aren't super happy about it and I can totally understand, but you can actually move that start menu from the middle to the corners as we could before. So in order to do this, what you wanna do is you actually wanna go ahead and right click on that taskbar that's at the bottom. Now, when you do that, you can go ahead and open up your taskbar settings. And when you do that, you can actually select where where you want the taskbar to be aligned at and from there you can actually choose the taskbar to be aligned to the left and you can actually use your taskbar to the left instead of actually using it in the middle and that's pretty much one of the windows 11's biggest distinct features is that middle taskbar but now you can actually change it to the side and that is another really awesome thing you can do within windows 11 now another cool thing within this new software is actually with the quick settings so before on previous versions of Windows, we did have kind of, it wasn't like a quick toggle setting, but it was kind of something close to it. Now within Windows 11, we now have our quick settings panel, which we can actually modify quite a bit. So what this is basically, if you go and click on the bottom right corner where the Wi-Fi and battery symbols are, you can actually go ahead and modify these new toggles. By doing that, you can actually go click on the pencil that's on the bottom right corner, and you can go ahead and choose which specific toggles you want on, which specific toggles you want off, and you can go and configure it however you want to. And that is another really awesome thing that we have within this specific, you know, Windows 11 update. On previous versions of Windows, it wasn't completely like this, but we do now have this new capability, which is really awesome. Now, another cool feature within Windows 11 is actually the new snap layouts. I'm pretty sure that's how they're calling it. Now, what this is, is basically you have the ability of quickly locking applications on different sides of the panel. So now we have the ability of turning our, you know, screen halfway if we want to quickly, you know, snap a window to the left or the right. Well, you can go ahead and do that by highlighting over over your specific toggle up top and you can go ahead and choose on where you want that specific toggle to be placed at so now if you want that you know window to be on the most left side well you can choose it however you want to and then you can go ahead and choose another window to be on the other side and this is another really cool thing you can do to pretty much just get some type of third-party features that are now built in with Windows 11 because these type of features used to be in Windows and they actually took them out so that is another really awesome thing that you have within Windows 11. Now there's this new thing called the focus sessions and essentially it's different ways you can go ahead and focus in on different things. It's in the actual alarm and clock app. So that's a new little application they made. So if you open up that app, you can go ahead and set up different types of focus things. If you guys use the new iOS 15 update for iPhones, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, you have that new focus session where you can go ahead and focus in on different things. Personally, I don't plan on ever using it, but it is a really cool thing that you have that if you want to go ahead and modify to it, you can go ahead and do it that way. Now, another cool thing within Windows 11 is actually this new sound mode. So what this does, it will actually allow you to go ahead and enhance the audio in which you're not only listening to, but also the audio that's kind of, you know, being made through your specific computer. So what this is, it'll go ahead and automatically improve the sound quality. Now, this is still, I think, an experimental feature because they do tell you to turn it off if there's, you know, issues going on. But in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings, you know, panel. You want to go and click on system. You want to go and click on sound. And then you want to go ahead and enable both the mono audio and the left right audio channels for the enhanced audio section so now when you go ahead and click on that and you enable it the audio will now be enhanced and it'll actually sound a little bit better now which is really cool and that's another little cool thing that we have within windows 11 which which some of you may like now another thing is actually the ability to pin your apps to your start menu so let's say you didn't want to go ahead and keep scrolling through every single little app in order to find it well if you have an app that you use all the time what you can do is you can go ahead and right click on that specific application and you can go ahead and click pin to start. So what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and pin that application to your start menu. So when you click on that start menu, it's going to be at that top pinned location. Now you can always see all your apps by clicking on the all apps, you know, button on the side, but that's another cool little thing that you can do within this specific panel as well. So those are a couple of different cool little tricks and tips within Windows 11 that I'd highly recommend checking out. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.